Good day! For this video, we will talk about the mechanical amplitude test. mechanical amplitude test. If you apply work, especially in manufacturing or industrial plant, you have to undergo first the routine examination test. One of these tests is mechanical aptitude test. This examination tests your ability to understand and apply the mechanical and electrical concept. These tests therefore conducted for the people who are applying in technical position. Like mechanics, technical sales representative or apprentice. So these are the subjects you have to expect in taking the mechanical amplitude test. So there are two subjects in mechanical amplitude test, the classical mechanics and electricity. These are subtopics in classical mechanics. Force and torque, the most common subject of all. It deals mostly on lever structure, work related scenarios like turning the screw, etc. Velocity. This subject deals with acceleration and gravity. You might ask things like which ball would hit the ground first? Fluid mechanics. This subject deals with everything, deals with fluids that includes liquid and gas. Gears. Combination of gears and racks. Normally ask things like in which direction gear X rotate or which gear rotate faster. Wheels. Normally, understands the relationship in things like wheel size and speed, angular and linear velocity, etc. Pulley Pulley questions presents you with dual or multiple pulley systems and normally asks which pulley requires more force to load. Optics, Acoustics, and Thermodynamics The small subtopics that usually cover in a classical mechanics questions. They deal with light, sounds, and heat. In electricity, there are three kinds of subtopics. First, the concept. This subject deals with theoretical basis in electricity, such as measuring in units and Ohm's law. Second, the basic electric circuit. Usually showing electric circuit and asks you when the circuit is closed or open. The last one, the series and the parallel circuit. Also do with circuits but more complex and advanced and ask you to analyze the basis on the principle of the voltage, current, and resistance. Before anything else, I want to share some question and answer that I met in applying a technical position in the Philippines.
so thank you for watching and don't forget to click like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the notification bell for you to update in my next video